The Mud Hens hoping to bounce back from their season opening series opening loss to the Storm Chasers. And to do that, they'll need Tyler Nevin to stay hot, and he certainly does that. Zinging one into the corner. That's plenty of time for Justin Henry Malloy to sprint around from second and score. Andre Lipsius then keeps the hit parade going. This ball now a souvenir for a lucky fan out in left center. The solo shot makes it 2 nothing, but the Chasers would tie it up until Nevin delivers again, this time launching a missile off the big board for the first of two home runs for him in the contest as the Hens are back in front. And Toledo then put the game away in the sixth inning. Parker Meadows knocks a bloop to center for the RBI single. The Hens hang three in the frame and add two more in the seventh in route to an 8-2 to two win. Matt Melzack and Jim Weber celebrating Toledo's top bat after another stellar outing. Thanks back out here at fifth third field again that offense for the Toledo Mud Hens. We were talking a little bit about it yesterday. This might be as good a lineup as we have seen for the Mud Hens since the early part of the year. It showcased itself tonight and it really stemmed from one bat. That was Tyler Nevins. Yeah, he had four hits, including two home runs. He's now up to 12 on the year. But here's the key, Matt. In the first inning, Omaha had the bases loaded with one out, couldn't score. In the next inning, runners at second and third, one out, couldn't score. There's the key to your win. They had a chance to jump all over the Mud Hens early, couldn't do it. Instead, it was the other way around. The Mud Hens wind up with 10 hits, out hit 13 to 10, but the pitching was good as well, and it just all added up to a Toledo victory. Hey, let's put it this way Omaha left 15 on base tonight. 15 batters 15, on base. And we left eight on, which doesn't seem like many compared to 15. Well, it's almost half of what Omaha yep. did tonight. They had, it felt like a threat every night. Kiter Montero was terrific at being a Houdini tonight. Just escape here, escape there. And he went far enough to get his first uh, Toledo win. Is now one and one on the season. There you go. So Kiter Montero gets the win. Tyler Nevin powers the W tonight here for the Toledo Monahans who are back at it again tomorrow right here at Fifth Third Field.